In this tutorial, we're going to discuss some more advanced PowerPoint features. Specifically, we're going to discuss how to customize a template in PowerPoint. So, uh, say you find a template you really like and it's almost perfect, but it's not exactly what you're looking for. Say the sizing is wrong on a couple things, or uh, maybe the color isn't exactly what you want and the options didn't fit. PowerPoint makes it really nice and easy to customize uh, a template and the way that you do it is you're going to go up to the view ribbon up here and click on that and here is where you have access to the master slide and so on their, on the slide master so what you're going to do is come over here under master views click on slide master and now you can see that each one of these represent a different template option. So you have your slide master um, which controls all of the views and how everything looks and then from there you have uh, each one of the window options broken down. So say that you want each one of the new pages and here's kind of a basic um, page. Say that you want each one of them this tab up at the top, the header, is a little bit too big and you want to have more room for content. Just click on this and drag it up a little bit and then do you can move the title and then you can have more room for your content. And click close master view and now when you come back up here you notice that our intro, if you watch our last video this is now this style has now been applied and it's applied it to every if, say that you had 20 different uh, pages that all use the same template layout all of these would be auto updated so we'll go back and go into some other things you can change so view slide master and so say that maybe this uh, right here on the main one say this color isn't exactly what you were looking for. There is a really nice and easy way to change that. So just click on that uh, large background image and then you can come up here to the background and this is where you can control all of this. So you can click on colors and you can just hover over these and all of a sudden you can see that these colors can change. So say that we want to uh, let's see, I'm not a fan of that one or that one. Something like this. So say we want to make it a, maybe a little bit more bold or have this type of color scheme. So we click that and now you can see every single page now has this new color scheme. And when we click close, you can see it's updated throughout the entire application. So this is a really nice easy way that you can customize this. Going back to view, some of the other things you can do in here with uh, customizing it is we'll click on slide master again and now uh, I'm, if you remember I talked about last tutorial that each template has its own uh, fonts that, that it uses. Right here if you select font uh, font you can see that by default it's using uh, you know century gothic and franklin gothic you can change the fonts throughout the entire application or for the entire template right here so you can go and say we wanted to switch it because it looks like it uses a sans serif type font say we want to go times new roman you could click that right there and it auto updates now you're going to have to go change some things like the background uh, shadow colors and you know things like that Hit control Z to go back to where it was because I actually like this font. Um, but that's how you can change fonts throughout the entire application. Uh, you can also see it has effects for, um, uh, for styling the headers. So if we wanted to add reflection, we wanted to make it look glossy, um, like right here. If we do something like this, it gives it almost kind of like an iPhone type of feel. So if you're doing this PowerPoint for an application like an iPhone app, click on close. Now you come back and you have this glossy feel for the entire application. And so if you remember back to what it uh, this used to look like, and I can do that by clicking um, going here and clicking new, and we'll go to the original quotable, hit create. 
this is what it looked like previously and we can come in here hit new slide and this is what a second uh, the other page look like now switch back oh, won't save this one this is what the template looks like now it has a completely different look and feel and all it took were about two or three minutes worth of formatting changes on the templates. So you learned how you can edit a fonts or a template's font, you can change the color scheme, you can add different effects like glossy, shadows, gradients, and you can do all of that. So uh, it really gives you a really easy way to find a base template that you like and then be able to take that and customize it so that it fits exactly what you're looking for, whether this is a school assignment Assignment, whether it's something for work, uh, you have all the tools you need to create something that's unique and fits uh, the design goals for your project.